Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have for you guys a foundation review. In the past few days, I have been suffering from really dry and flaky patches around my nose area and even my forehead. And this is the reason why I have been using cushion foundations. Now, if you didn't know, cushion foundations leave a very dewy finish on the skin, making your skin look hydrated all throughout the day. And that is definitely what I needed because the last thing I want is for my foundation to emphasize the flakes around my nose area and even my forehead. The product I'll be reviewing for you guys today is something from G Fox International, and this is called the Airlift Cushion Foundation. Here is what the packaging looks like. As you can see, it is contained in a blue compact case. And when you open it up, you will see a mirror inside as well as a sponge applicator. Now, when you open the compact, that is where you will see the cushion foundation. Now, let me read to you guys a brief product overview about the Airlift Cushion Foundation. The Airlift Cushion Foundation is a state-of-the-art product marrying the benefits of makeup and skincare in an ultra-fine coverage powder that works instantly to conceal blemishes, lifts the skin, blurs wrinkles, and promote a fair and glowing complexion over time. The application is not time-consuming because you can easily pat the product onto your face for a flawless and long-lasting makeup. Number two, it has 10 different functions in just one makeup product. So it is a sunscreen, it gives automatic color correction, it is a concealer, a moisturizer, it controls oil on the skin, it lightens blemishes, gives elasticity, it is anti-wrinkles, widen skin and gives a glowing effect on the skin. This product also has the revolutionary cushion mechanism with 900,000 pores. Now let us move on to the application. All you need to do is pick up your sponge, open the product, and all you need to do is dip your sponge into the cushion and you will be able to pick up an ample amount of product to put on your skin. I use a padding motion to apply this airlift cushion foundation onto my skin to give that coverage that I really need. I have dark acne marks on my skin and what I like about the airlift cushion foundation is that you can pat the product onto those areas and eventually get the coverage that you want. Now here is a half face comparison of my face. So one side with the airlift cushion foundation and one side without. It's pretty obvious that the airlift cushion foundation was able to conceal the blemishes or imperfections that I have on my skin like the redness and even dark spots. It also did a good job with giving my skin a more fair and glowing complexion. Now here is what the airlift cushion foundation looks like on my entire face. Now keep in mind to give it a few seconds or minutes to blend or marry into your natural skin color. Now I went ahead and finished my entire makeup so I added on my brows, some mascara, a lip color, and even did my contouring powder and even a blush color on the cheeks. And this is what the entire face looks like. As you can see, the Airlift Cushion Foundation has a semi-matte, semi-dewy finish. And this is the reason why I won't be setting it with powder because I really like the dewiness that it gives onto my skin. It also doesn't emphasize the dry patches around my nose area and even my forehead. Now here are some tips for you guys who totally enjoy the Airlift Cushion Foundation. So again, you have to give it a few minutes for it to really blend or marry onto your skin tone so that you won't look like you're wearing a mask. Now, if however, the Airlift Cushion Foundation is still too light for you, even after waiting a few minutes for it to really set onto your skin, you may actually mix it together with your foundation, just a tiny amount, and then what you do is just blend it all over your skin. I have combination skin, so I tend to oil up on my T-zone area and a little bit on my cheeks. So if ever you have combination to oily skin, I would recommend you guys to use a primer before using the Airlift Cushion so that it would stay on so much longer and control the oil production on your skin. I'm wearing the Airlift BB Cushion on my skin right now and as you can see, it still has that right amount of glow to it like the dewiness going on on my nose and even a little bit of my forehead and it just looks really, really healthy for my skin. So if ever you are not a fan of the dewy, effect on the skin you may actually set it with powder but in my case i really prefer using it without powder because it just looks really healthy and radiant once you have completely let the airlift cushion foundation set onto your skin you will notice that it is not as sticky as when you first applied it onto your skin 
So right now, I'm feeling my skin and it doesn't feel sticky at all. The Airlift Cushion Foundation contains 12 grams of products and if ever you want refills, they have it. So all you need to do is push the bottom part of the compact and this case will come right out. And the refill looks something like this. So you will get a new sponge as well as the Airlift Cushion Foundation inside. And all you need to do is shoot this into the case and you will get a brand new Airlift Cushion Foundation. Retouching with the Airlift Cushion Foundation is actually very convenient because as for my case, I did not set my foundation with any powder. So it is very convenient to just put on the skin and it won't actually cake because you did not set your face with powder and it actually gives that really beautiful glow onto your skin so those are my thoughts about the airlift cushion foundation from g fox international i hope you guys enjoyed watching if ever you want to purchase the airlift cushion foundation i'll have the prices as well as the order link in the information box down below thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in the next video